Welcome, one and all. My name is Colton, I'm a vlogger. I'm a dude, I am the vlogger dude. And with that intro out of the way... I, I have been looking forward to today. But at the same time, I haven't. Because we're going... To another park, and it's a park... I haven't been to since December 31st, 2019. This park has a lot of problems, especially this past decade with its business decisions. And they just announced the new ride for next year, and they announced a re-theme of a certain area inside this park. And it's a 40 free spin. That's, that's the big thing. And you guys will understand why I'm so disappointed once I show you which park it is. Although you might already know, because if you're up to date about uh, theme parks and whatnot, especially the Cedar Fair theme parks, you might know this park. And it's not that really popular right now. But... I'm hoping in the future that it will be able to rival Bush Gardens. And I probably did. It's King's Dominion. Okay. I've lived here for a very, very long time. I always went to King's Dominion because it was closer. And Bush Gardens was like three, three and a half hours away. But... King's Dominion was always an hour, an hour and a half away. So, you know, I, I had a season pass, a seasonal pass with, you know, one of my parents for a while. But then the quality of the park really started to go away once we lost Volcano in 2018. Uh, that same year we got Twisted Timbers. And I think the newest thing they did right now was expand the water park in Soak City. Little splash pad or whatever it's called. So, I'm going to take you through the park, and we're going to talk about my opinion on what Cedar Fair needs to do for King's Dominion in the coming years from 2022 to 2025. Let's go. Use the right lane to take exit 98 onto State Road. There it is. Dominator. Oh wow, it's actually quite empty today. Wow, look at that. There's Haunt. I don't know if I'm going to that, I wish I could. There's that iconic blue tower and there's Intimidator in the back. It feels super weird being back here after a year and a half. I think I was here for Winterfest on December 31st of 2019. Yeah, it's been that long. I think that day, I only wrote Dominator and I did the Old Fashioned Cars twice. I did a show twice and I did this 3D thing twice in the Action Theater, which I'll talk about the Action Theater later because... You know, there used to be an old favorite of mine that used to be here when 
Paramount owned the park, but when Cedar Fair took over, they took it out. There's going to be a lot of old favorites that aren't here anymore. This video might be a little bit of history too. Let me show you guys something. So you see Domin you see Dominator over there? Right behind there, you used to be able to see Volcano, the blast coaster. And it was this really cool suspended coaster that uh, went up through a volcano. And three years ago in 2018, uh, they tore it down because it was uh, from the 90s and it was just getting too expensive to repair it, so they took it down. I was super disappointed, but it had to be done. I can only hope that, you know, whatever comes after the 40 free spin coaster is a worthy re replacement for Volcano. Your hands often to defend against the spread of COVID-19. Please maintain a safe social distance and no health signage throughout the park, rides, and attractions. Going Thank into you the park. And enjoy the rest of your day oh, there's Dominator going King's up. Dominion. There it goes. It's gonna be a good day. Very good day. Look at that. Those are pretty cool fountains. I love them. First thing on the agenda is Dominator. That's always a go-to for me. First thing I do all the time. It's right up here next to a Viking ship. Don't like the Viking ship. I did it one time. I will forever regret that decision. All right, let's go. Dominator, good ride as always. I think I'm gonna do this before we leave. What do you guys think? Woo! I guess I should take this time to tell you a little bit about Dominator. Dominator was from another park, uh, and Kings Dominion received it, and they rebranded it as Dominator. So technically, that was not built in house. But the other ones are. I totally promise you that. Like the Eiffel Tower up here. They have a promo for Kings Wing and Pump. 20 years of fear. September 25th, October 31st. I'm not going. I don't plan to, but if you guys want me to, maybe. If you keep going past the Eiffel Tower, you enter Planet Snoopy, which is the kid area. This used to be based off of Nickelodeon characters back in the early 2000s. That's when I was a kid. It was a good time. There was a lot of cool stuff here. Sad Cedar Fair took over because, I don't know. Besides the yearly specials, like the Christmas special and the Thanksgiving special, does anybody really know who Charlie Brown is? Like, do kids know who Charlie Brown is? I don't know. You guys hear that music? I kind of like it. it's kind of vibey. They play good music, Kings Dominion. I wonder what the playlist is. Kings Dominion, they should release the playlist. So now we're in over in the next section of the park, which is Candy Apple Grove. You know, because, you know, Virginia. Oh, can I get it in the background? See that orange thing right there? That's where a roller coaster used to be. It was a stand-up coaster called Shockwave, and was it 2014 or 2015? They replaced it with Delirium. Um, I didn't like Shockwave. I don't like stand-up coasters. I was little. I got a headache immediately after. So what we're gonna do now, we're just gonna go over to the swings. I'm gonna show you a better view of the park because I didn't get my phone out on Dominator because I didn't want to lose it. So now we're high up. If you guys enjoyed that short footage, um, I was on the ride, I was trying to get an aerial view of the park, the guy told me to put my phone away. Like, it was outside, like I was only a couple feet off the ground, I was just trying to get an aerial view of the park. Like, I mean, I can understand a roller coaster, okay, but like the swings, when you're like 20 feet off the ground, seriously? Like, it's outside. It's not like I'm, you know, violating anything. You know what? 
Let's go someplace where I'm not going to be criticized for trying to get an aerial view of the park. Let's go on the Ferris wheel. So over there is Dominator, Anaconda, and there's the Drop Tower. If you look over here, you got Twisted Timbers, Ricochet, and then there's Windseeker. It's like the big brother of the small swings I was just on. It's about as tall as Intimidator. There's a catapult thing, there's the tower, there's Intimidator. And over there is Backlot, the one with the cop car. That used to be the Italian job. It's only, it's one of the few surviving Paramount rides, although only it was rethemed. So that was fun. Got some really good aerial shots of the park. The swings wouldn't let me do it. Wait, no, not yet, not yet. Give me a minute, guys. Where is it? There it is. We're going to race for 75. I don't know what I was thinking. Oh, this ride is so shaky. Cause it's so old. Oh. Yeah, that one. Uh uh. Never again. I'm putting that on my do not do list. It was shaky and it kind of made my back hurt. I don't know. Maybe they'll remove it one day because it's so shaky. I hope so. Well, I mean, if it's a classic, yeah, I get it, but like. If, if it starts hurting people, it's time to throw it out. I was exiting race 75. Remember that 40 free spin I guys told you about? Right there. This is what they do for the crypt. It's not replacing Volcano, thank God, because that would be really cheap if it was. This, this park needs to do better. Cedar Fair needs to get their act. Did Apple's Apple off camera. Uh, didn't like it, they kept. It really hurts my sides. So now I'm gonna go on Twisted Timbers. I'm gonna have someone else get footage of me going up, okay? See you guys in a minute. Twisted Timbers was good as always. It's like they brought Steel Vengeance over. But the funny thing was that used to be a, a wooden coaster. That used to be the hurler. So they took down the wooden track and replaced it with RMC track. So yeah, that was cool. We're gonna go get something to eat and I'm gonna tell you about my trip so far. Cause ride wise it's going well. Personally, I don't think so, and I'll tell you why. About lunchtime, and I decided that we're gonna go eat at what was formerly Panda Express, the Green and Grill. I heard it's really good. We'll see. We'll see. And this is what I got. I got macaroni and cheese, some bread, and some shrimp with a lot of fruit punch because I was in the mood. So, uh, I had time to fuel up the tank. So while I'm in here and just chilling, I want to tell you about how the park's going. Um, Ride-wise, I'm having fun, but personally-wise, um, they're not letting me film a lot, which is kind of stingy. Um, Bush Gardens had absolutely no problem with me filming. Cedar Point had no problem with me filming. Universal and Disney, it depends on where you film, but most of it, it's okay. They're being so stingy. like. Like, you know, I told you guys, when I was on the, um, I was on the, uh, the swings, but there was a wasp in my drink, so that was nice. So I was on the swings, and I told you that the guy told me to put my phone away, even though I'm outside, and no harm, no foul to anybody working here. It's just that I think you guys need to be a little bit more lenient on filming, because it's outside, you know, I paid to get in here, I think, as long as I'm not filming anything that's, you know, for, you know, restricted, I think it's okay. There was a bee on my arm, stupid bees in stupid Virginia, they're everywhere over here. If you guys could be a little bit more lenient on filming, I would really like that, but right now, this is not my home park anymore, Bush Gardens is my home park, because they have better coasters and they have, you know, better filming policies, so 
if you want, you know, I mean, I don't, my approval doesn't matter. Uh, I'm just saying that I think if you're a vlogger like me, you probably have a rough time filming around here. But otherwise, it's a good park. And I hope that in the coming years that they're more lenient on the filming policy and that there are more rides as we go along in the coming years. Looking forward to it. Remember I told you there used to be a volcano here? They have a picture of it right there. See? It's coming out of the volcano. It was such a good ride. It's a shame it had to close down because I really loved it. More than two years to complete the park's iconic mountain. Is transformed into the world's fastest first ever suspended launch coaster. It had a good run. It didn't even make it 20 years because in 2018 it wasn't operating. Such a shame. I really hope whatever replaces it is just as good. Hat change check. I know I said I didn't like the fact they were, uh, you know, not letting me film, but Dominator is a good ride and I needed this hat only because I already have Intimidator and Twisted Timbers back at home, so. Another hat to the collection. And now I have a proper hat instead of that Harry Potter one I was wearing earlier. All right, we're gonna go do Dominator again and then I'll see what else we can do. So we only have like three hours left in the park, so let's make the most of it, shall we? Look over there, you can see parts of Tomb Bailey, the 43 spin SNS coast are coming next. Very, very interesting stuff. This it's been in the parking lot for over a year. Just got off of Woodstock Express. That was surprisingly smooth. At least a lot smoother than the Racer 75. Very good ride. I haven't ran it since it was the Scooby Doo. Was it called the Spook Coaster? I don't know. Someone help me look that up. So up here is Boo Blasters, and it used to be the old Scooby Doo ride. It totally blocked off. Said they're only open on the weekends. That's a major bummer. Oh no, guys, we'll find something else to do. Okay, now so now we're at the cool part. This is where Volcano used to be. Completely empty. Nothing. And all of this is going to be changed next year because Tumbili's coming. Well, this is coming. Uh, we're getting a new restaurant with it's a pavilion outside. Uh, it's going to be cool. I just really hope that whatever replaces Volcano it's worth it because we're hurting, man. Us KD fans, we're hurting. So you guys remember Safari Village that I just showed you? That was the only way to Intimidator. They're not running Intimidator, they're not running Avalanche, and they're not running anything else in that area because they're closing it off for construction. When clearly there is no construction because Tumbili was sitting out in the parking lot. It's been there for a year, like, come on guys, like seriously. So what I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna get some Dippin' Dots and we're just gonna go home. You know, I've had a good day here. I like the ride and the rides. Uh, it was good fun, but nothing is open, so I can't help that. So we're just gonna get some Dippin' Dots and go home. I had a couple ones, so we went to the arcade, played some games. I got a punch balloon as a prize. So, Intimidator and Anaconda were unaccessible. So if you're coming here, keep in mind that ev not everything is going to be open. I mean, I think it partially has to do with the pandemic because I was talking to this guy and he said an Intimidator does not like running on weekdays for some reason so if you want more rides come on the weekends it's going to be busier but if you don't mind and you don't want to wait in lines much i would say come during the weekdays in the fall or just come for haunt because you get more hours and everything's open hope you guys enjoy this video please like leave a comment down below what your favorite ride was that I did a or do you belong to another Cedar Fair park what's your home park leave a comment down below I think that no one takes me seriously because I don't have a camera we should change that and maybe I will that's all it for me guys I will see you in the next one see you guys